Hey there, welcome back YouTubers. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today I want to talk to you a little bit more about buttons using um, ActiveX buttons, um, using all of, we're going to talk all about buttons in the next few videos. So I'm going to go to the Developer tab, which you should have by now. Click on Insert, and I will insert an ActiveX button. I'm going to click here and shove one there. If I zoom out a little bit, should be able to see the text and I can click on properties here and change the caption so we can say click here I'm sure you're familiar with this by now you can resize it as you see fit the problem with these buttons those as well as form control buttons which are similar except for you have to assign a macro to them from the get-go but they look about the same yeah, I mean you can type over these Let's see here. Click me. Okay. So that one, as soon as I click on it, let's see, there is no available macro called macro 2 or whatever. Uh, this one, you can double click on it to start writing your codes in. But what I wanted to show you is if you run a macro or if you do a lot of uh, calculations, a lot of times they'll get jumbled or you may start to see this happen though they'll, they'll start winding up over here and looking like this um, you know so they'll just and or the, you can't even click on them or they're invisible or they're behind words or they'll just randomly be invisible or something something like this will happen you'll see a lot of this weird stuff going on because they're just not very stable like they are on a user form so what I want to show you some alternatives to having a standard button that although it's very pretty whenever you click on it it, it goes in and looks like it, you're depressing it in and then it pops back out that's pretty and everything but functionality wise um, it's a lot better if you use some of these methods so we're going to go over that right now so what I'm going to show you first of all is you can actually make a copy of this so I'm going to click copy or control C would do it after it's selected Then I'm going to right click and go to paste special we want to paste it not as a not as a command button actually let's paste it as a picture I want a picture that looks exactly like my button or maybe even a pretty one that doesn't look that great paste special I wonder if a gif would look better well, not really that much better paste uh, jpeg paste the picture one looks almost spot on so anyway play around with that but anyway so what we can do here is with this one here this is actually not a button it's a picture this one's an actual command button so you can double click on it you can have click or double click or on get focus things with this if you just wanted a clickable button you take your picture which is a, a copy of that as a picture and you double click on that um, so yeah you have some picture options you can actually make it pretty cool looking uh, and also you can right click and sure enough assign macro so if you had a macro let's go ahead and make one for all intents and purposes alt f11 let's just make one that says uh, open up a module and what are we going to call this macro? We'll call it uh, test. And we're just going to say a message box will pop up and say good job. And that's it. So let's test that out. Hit F5. Yep, it works. Okay, good. So we're going to right click and assign that macro called test. And that's it. Click on the button now and it does your macro now and uh, typically a photo will not resize and get all weird when the worksheet is running codes and stuff uh, with actual buttons for some reason ActiveX controls and forms controls they just resize themselves randomly or disappear it sucks you don't want that to happen um, so that's pretty much it thank you for watching I'm gonna, uh, there's also not a delete thing here you can hit the delete key 
But if you just select this and right click, um, you can only cut or you can hit the delete key. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll show you some more tricks in our next video.